Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. So this is going to be a depressing, moving vlog. Um, yeah, so I figure while I'm packing up my DVDs, I would talk to you for a little bit. The light is terrible in here because it keeps my light in my apartment keeps fritzing on and off. It's like a horror movie. So I'm taking all of these DVDs and I'm packing them into a banker's box, which I finally, finally learned how to put together a banker's box without, with, without, and that's my dog in the way, without having to watch a video every single time I do it. So there's nothing... I don't think anything more depressing than packing stuff by yourself in an apartment where the light keeps fritzing out and Malcolm he wants to because I'm sitting here he was sitting because I'm sitting here he wants to go Go, then go, if you're going to go. Go. Oh, God. So my dog is so severely interested in what I'm doing. So no matter where I am, or what I'm doing, he has to stick his nose in and see what's going on. Is there any food for me? Is there any food for me? What is over there? Oh, that's stuff on top of my desk. Everything is everywhere. Everything is everywhere. I have to say, my boyfriend has been very supportive through this whole process. He's going to help me move some of this stuff out tomorrow so that I can make room. So that I can make room to pack more stuff because it's just a mess. It's a mess of mess. And I'm packing all my horror movies, even though I probably will want to watch them. Why did I keep It Follows? Such a bad movie. I reviewed it a long time ago. Oh, God, so many movies. This movie, a lot of these movies I got when Blockbuster was going out of business and then the movies were marked down to like a dollar, literally a dollar. So I bought like everything, but this was years ago. This movie, I always meant to watch it again because they said, this is a good movie. I'll watch it again. I never did. Flash of Genius. It's with um, Greg Kinnear. He plays this guy who invented windshield wipers. Oh, my God. So, you guys know I decluttered a lot of DVDs is the only reason look what i have this i think i watched this once i have the collection the happy hooker look who was this about the happy hooker the happy hooker goes to washington and then the happy hooker goes to hollywood at some point i should revisit that because uh i don't remember what it was about i remember i think the title is misleading this movie oh my god you will never go on a boat again open water so scary but it's one of those movies where you watch it once and it's just so so horrifying you can't watch it again with evil dead part two these are all things i should leave out for halloween uh, okay let's see what else we got anything else i should leave out look taxi driver i didn't like that movie the Stepford Wives, the remake. What other movies I got in here? What is this? Oh, Dangerous Liaisons. Uh, 
I watched it once. I used to, I liked it when it came out. When I used to like John Malkovich. And, uh, and then I, this is another one that you watch once and you never watch it again. 127 hours is just one of those things where it's just so disturbing. What is this one? Oh, a lot of 99 cent movies from, well, dollar movies from the Dollar Tree. This movie, this TV show, I should watch this again. Nightmare Cafe. The Bad Enabler got this for me. I want to leave this out. Maybe I'll watch that. It was such a cool show. Oh, look. The Nightmare on Elm Street series. No, Nightmare Cafe, ironically, with Robert England, dressed as himself, without the Freddy makeup, was a really good movie. Oh, look. The other half of Nightmare on Elm Street, because they made so many. Uh, the Last House on the Left, 28 Days Later. I'm going to leave these out because... I may want to watch them. Look, Halloween. This movie. This movie was a good movie. It's just so weird. It's called John Dies at the End. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's with one of my favorite actors of all time, Paul Giabatti. Right there. It's a good movie. You know, there were a lot, I would say, you know, there were equally sucky movies at the Dollar Tree as there are, I won't say no, not equally, more movies you find at the Dollar Tree suck. Some are really good, a few, a few are really good. I did not get to go see the re-release of Mean Girls. Yeah. You go, Glenn Coco. You go. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Am I ever going to watch this again? And then I have W, which the trailer was a lot better than the movie. And, you know, it's Oliver Stone. And he did JFK. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't as good. So now I have packed a medium size banker box. Should I put some at the... No, this is pretty heavy. A medium-sized banquet box filled. And I'm not even... Not even halfway done. Not even halfway done. Oh, my God. Oh, it's just so... Such a mess. But watch. When I'm in my new apartment and everything is settled and everything is good... I'll be back to my old self. But this time, this time, the moving time is a difficult time. I am going to go make another banker's box to fill with DVDs. I'm not going to, I think I can pack what's in this cabinet here. These DVDs, 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 these DVDs in here, those are my Christmas movies, Christmas movies. So what I have now, as far as my furniture, is this giant wall unit. You can't really see it. The TV is up there and there's drawers here and then there's shelves here and there's shelves. It's got like a hutch. So the boyfriend was saying to me, he's like, you know, you don't need DVDs anymore, which is not true. Not true. And you could read this online as well. If a movie is not on streaming and the DVD has been discontinued, you might lose a movie that you really love, which for me actually was Airheads. <laughs> um, I watched it recently. I know it's a stupid movie to say is, is a really good one, but it is. 
And then what are you going to have? Are you going to have like 10 streaming services because they rotate movies? And supposing you want to watch a movie that's not on one streaming service, but it's on another streaming service that you don't have. Or maybe it's not streaming at all. Then you'll see DVDs of movies that you thought, oh my God, those were the stupidest movies. They're out of print and they become very expensive. So do not get rid of your DVDs of your favorite movies. So... I'm going to get, he suggested that I get, instead of this Jigunda wall unit thing, that I should get a regular TV stand that's smaller. And then I saw online a, like a merry-go-round cart thing that holds DVDs. I found one from Wayfair that holds like 400 DVDs and it's, it's like a carousel. You can spin it around, which is much more convenient than the way I had it, which is the movies that I watch least I put on the bottom and the movies that I watch more, I put at the top and then I still have to go searching, you know? So if I have the carousel one, which has four sides, I could put like comedy on one side, drama on another side, horror on another side, Drama, horror, comedy, I don't know, romance or something on the other side, miscellaneous on the other side, whatever. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end this little mini vlog. So, comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. Uh, have a blessed morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. And I will give you an update in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.